Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Because I'm getting tired. Sick and tired. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are completely new, hello. I am Cecilia Nico, and in today's video, it is no makeup. Because I'm here to talk about what needs to be talked about in the beauty community, and that is drama. Not really drama, but the elephant pretty much is in the room, and I just need to talk about the elephant, of course. So, if you are here to get my reaction on these huge beauty influencers videos that they just came out with, my like personal input, my my feelings, my thoughts, and etc. Then keep on watching this video. But if you are drama free and you don't really care about it, that's perfectly fine. You guys can go ahead and exit out this video and move on to your next favorite YouTuber out there. But being that these three YouTubers that I'm going to watch has something to do with people of color and me as well, being a black male in the beauty industry, in the beauty community, I felt that it was my diligent, my duty to watch these videos to see what they say and give my personal reaction on these videos. So, let's go ahead and get this video started because I'm here for for views, anything for views, and I'm just, I'm just out here trying to live my best life, and things like this keep on happening. So, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join me here on YouTube, where it's always lit on this side. Of course, guys, lit. <laughs> also, make sure you guys turn your post notification bell on so you don't miss out on videos like this, and last but not least, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this content if you think this is very informative please give a thumbs up please i would greatly appreciate it so without further ado let's go ahead and get right on into this video all right so we're gonna be looking at some uh, some YouTubers videos we're gonna to react to them of course I'm going to start off with Laura Lee speaking of Laura Lee tea spill is <laughs> oh drama channels are not playing with the girls this season I want to talk to you guys in this video it's been so long it's almost possible She's crying. I feel so I'm gonna do a mask. just disappointed that I don't even like to look at myself because like I can't even believe that I would retweet ugly things and be you know things that would hurt people. Like I can't believe I didn't see the pain behind that kind of tweet and that kind of behavior. <laughs> Where's the apology to the people who you hurt? Where are the apology to the, the, the genders, the race, the whatever the case may be, fat shaming, the black people, Asian people? Where are the apology to those specific races? Like, you apologize to Jeffrey for initiating a fight, but you are not apologizing to the actual people who you're hurting that are lower than you on the totem pole that that right there Laura Lee a slap in the face pure slap in the face girl a pure slap in the face and the reason why I say that is because you didn't address the elephant in the room 
which are those vile tweets that you said six years ago and you didn't acknowledge who you really are hurting in the long run. You acknowledge someone who is above you. And I understand like you have to sometimes recognize your superior if you feel that Jeffrey is your superior. But in order for you to grow as a person, you still have to recognize people who are you're leading into a new society or you're leading into an influence. And that is us as African Americans who need to pull their pants up so they can be able to run faster from the police and how to blind a Chinese person by putting floss tape across their eyes and fat shaming men saying that they just want to get into a woman's pantry and stuff like that. Like, I look like the Blue Man Crew telling you what you're supposed to be saying. Your PR team should have told you what you're supposed to be saying. I, f I feel sorry and I apologize that people are attacking your family and people are attacking your niece and throwing hate, hate mail and hate messages that way. They shouldn't have done that. But I understand that there are consequences to actions and there are reactions to actions. And yet you still have not addressed the elephant in the room, which is the black people, the Asian people, fat shaming, etc. the nature. Next person I'm going to look at is Gabriel Zamora, the sacrificial lamb. Let's see if he... Let's see if he posted a video about this situation. No video from Gabriel Zamora. We all know what Gabriel Zamora tweeted. The N-word, which snowballed everybody else to be, I guess, exposed. He uploaded three weeks ago. and He's been MIA since then. Where you at, Gabe? We waiting. Let's go to Manny. MUA. He got a video that said, I will do better. Okay, I had to pause the video here. So, you're not going to address the fact that you initiated a thread asking for people of color that are in the beauty industry to receive a PR from you to be able to, I guess, be inclusive for your brand, Luna Beauty. But when we realized and saw who received PR packages for you, the only people who really received PR from you were like a small handful, and I would say like three or four people of color, um, and only one of them was a boy, which is Victor Ramos, and we all know as far as beauty boys go, Victor is very handsome. But Victor do bare minimum as far as eyeshadow looks go. Victor would throw a brown glittery shadow and a deep dark color in his crease and call it a day. But your palette is a color spectrum. And then on top of that, the photo that he posted for your brand was exactly what I just said that he would do. Throw a brown across the lid and a deeper color in the crease and call it a day with a, a liner and call it a day and the look is sickening no shade to victor and the look is sickening but you wanted more men of color and you wanted more people of color to be more inclusive for your brand but you didn't pick anyone who actually take your palette to the extreme, which is what your palette is. It's, it's an extreme palette. It's a, it's a spectrum palette. I'm not going to check for you, Manny. I just feel that was just a menace, a lie.
to me. All right, let's see if Nikita the fourth of the four horsemen posted a video. Nikita hasn't posted a video in a week. Hmm. But Miss Nikita fantasized about being dark skinned and then also talk about other Asians and stuff like that. But okay, girl, keep it pushing. I'm not gonna talk about Nikita. I still somewhat support Nikita, and I really want Gabe to get on his shit, because I still secretly support him, but we need something from both of them, from that team, besides, uh, uh, what is it, an iPad, iPhone note with the heart emoji at the end of it, we need more, we need more. Let's look at someone else that had an issue with the beauty community and that's Kim TZTZ Ty. Now Kim Ty, I love Kim Ty. But honestly I already pulled away from Kim Ty when she started pulling away from the beauty community and started doing other weird videos like getting her vagina waxed and mukbangs and all the other stuff. I just I couldn't deal with watching that. So I've been unsubscribed from her. Not to shade her. Hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a vlog. But it is the second half of this video. The first half is a heart to heart. That I really want to have with my YouTube family. I know that a lot of you guys are just YouTube based. And you may not have a Twitter or an Instagram. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was really important for me to go on all of my platforms. And talk about this topic. So, like, the things that I said were so disrespectful, so inappropriate, and it showed how much I didn't have respect for the people around me, but also didn't have respect for who I am. I used inappropriate terms. I was very racist towards my own race. I said things that were contradicting. I just was a completely different person, and it was really hard for me to sit there and take it in and realize that that was me who tweeted these things. Okay, so I'm not going to sit here and watch her dissect each tweet that's cute. What I'm going to pull from this video is that from her video to Laura Lee's video to Minnie's video to Jeffree Star video to other influencers who get this rally of like of pityness. I feel that Kim Tai video was a lot more personal. And I feel like everyone in the beauty community always cry about something that, that, that they're, they done wrong and they feel that like crying crocodile tears is, is going to be the most sympathetic thing ever. We don't really care if you cry. You, in, in words of Kim Tai, you are a shitty person and you do shitty things and you own up to your shit. Excuse my language if you guys are young on my channel, but I have to keep it 100 with this situation. And Kim Tai realized she was a shitty person. She, she, she did shitty things and she's owning up to her shit. I personally had a spot, a special place in my heart for Kim Tai. Like, out of all five people that had this situation this weekend, Kim Tai had a special spot in my heart. Main reason why is because, just like Nikki Tutorials, Kim has been done dirty by the beauty community from a business side, a business aspect. I haven't really heard so much on Manny getting done dirty from a business deal. I haven't heard too much of Gabriel, Nikki, or Laura Lee getting done dirty from a brand, but Nikki Tutorials and Kim Tai both have been dirty by two separate brands, of course, but by brands in general that are really popular on social media. And the stuff that she went through and the disrespect that she received from that particular brand was not appropriate. And I feel that she really picked herself up and moved forward and then she created the Lionheart Lash, which is bomb.com. Um, and I just, I really saw the light in Kim Tai. Um, should I give any of them sympathy? Kim Tai deserves my sympathy. Gabriel, I'm waiting on. 
Nikita, I'm waiting on. Manny, no. Laura, hell no. Those people can go in grace. Blessed be, honey. But I'm not trying to send any hate towards any of their way. It's just me. To me, I felt this whole situation was like Hydra. Get what I'm saying? Like you cut the head off a of Hydra, one grows back. But in this situation, we cut the head of Hydra, which was Jeffree Star at the time because he was the first person in the beauty community that had the high numbers that had this situation going on. We quote unquote removed him. We canceled Jeffree Star and then four more grew out of this. Four more heads grew out of this. And now we're canceling the other four heads of that particular Hydra. Who's next? Honestly, who's next? Because like I can't deal with this anymore. And this is within a time span of like, what, a year and a half, two years of this canceling people because they chose to make ignorant decisions. Like, we got to stop supporting people who ain't for us, first and foremost. All right, so mass time is over. I look like the Blue Man Crew. Blue da da di da 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 I'm going to get off of the camera, wash this face off. I hope you guys learned something from this video today. I am over them, over it. I'm not going to speak about it. And if I do, you can catch it on Twitter because all my other platforms, I'm trying to keep it clean and drama free. So definitely check me out on Twitter. Also go over to my Instagram and check me out over there. All of my Instagrams and all my social medias is xzmoneco. <laughs> Other than that, I'm going to end this video here. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys. Go in peace. Go in grace. Say grace. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.